Hey everybody, welcome down to a beautiful Dubai Hills where I'm joined by two very beautiful people. I was laughing at intro. I was laughing at intro. I'm joined here by Brendan Lawler and Joachim Bjorkman, who are two elite players, as they've already shown over the front nine. And we are going to be having a nine hole skins match, but also learning a little bit more about these guys and exactly their backstory. It's very interesting, very inspiring, but also enlightening. It's side of the game which I don't really know too much about. And I think we'll play for the honour on this whole challenge. So nearest the pin wins the honour. One, 180 over water, nice easy one to start. That's pitched and put back that. Yeah, I think it is 180, it's a bit confusing, it looks a lot shorter. So I think I'm going to be last on the tee. As soon as the camera switches on, serious business yeah. begins. That's the quietest Brendan's been all day, that. <laughs> Bit of, as soon as the concentration switches on. <laughs> I'm not glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Where did that shot come from? <laughs> <laughs> After it. <laughs> <laughs> nice drive, mate. Looks like we're gonna have to have a run on this one. <laughs> the game we are playing is skins. Now, what that means is there's an amount of money, or in this case, an item of food, on the hole. We're playing for dinner, basically. So the person who wins the most amount of skins doesn't pay for food. Yeah, that's about right now. <laughs> 370 yards this hole, downwind, and the ball's carrying a long way. Uh, hold on. Business now. Yeah. Yeah, business, business. Mean Welcome. absolute There's business. There's a lot of social distance between mine and your golf ball here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I oh, mean. wow. I mean. I tell you what, how nice has he been all around? <laughs> as soon I mean. as the camera's on, as soon as there's food yeah. on it, yeah. it changes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna take a drop from the car path, mate. It's just interfering uh, with my swing, just a touch. You see that? Yeah. That is how I normally play. Um, I mean, it's just gonna have to be a, a stab and a hope, really. I've got to pick it up mega quick, just pound it. I mean, it's got big slope to the right of rough. I just need to hit it in that and just get lucky, and then hope it rolls down. It's a pin eye, pretty much, but doesn't mean a lot when you're over here. Literally, absolutely ripped it. And up and down to be lovely here, but one of these boys is going to get a birdie, so I'll, I'll be aggressive. Yeah, Not going to be enough, but I've restored a little bit of pride, just a little bit. I mean, I lost most of it like years ago, well, decades ago, for being honest with it. I never had any. Got it, got it. Wow, there nice. we go. Look at the fist pump as well. <laughs> now, come on, Joachim. Skins is a team game. Oh, partner. Partner. Oh, oh what a pump. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. That hole is basically a team buggy hole, and I'm just very proud of my partner. I think he's, uh, <laughs> I think he's played really well this hole. Oh, oh wow. yeah! <laughs> oh my God. Wow! 
I don't, I don't know if you saw that, but Yoki just used the side of the bunker to slow the velocity of that ball, yeah. kick it back almost onto the fairway. <laughs> just came out here for a friendly game. <laughs> you two, you just got the blinkers on now. So. Yeah. You really want that sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you mentioned steak. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell you the truth everyone, folks at home, that is absolutely gigantic. Ah, oh, ripper. Nice shot. Whoa, that's it. That's it. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Too much adrenaline. You control your heart rate a little bit. I'm going to hit a tree wood. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a bracing on it because I can't hit this 260 and I'm 260 to the hole. Probably a big draw, try and get an extra 20 yards. Okay. Run up to the side of the green. Or a complete top. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hit it that hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dove. Hit well. <laughs> I think as the uh, recording will show, but I'm pretty sure you said a layup. Or a complete top. <laughs> <laughs> to about 130 yards. 196. Striking the driver rather well. The we'll hoist a seven up there, I think that's probably going to be enough. Ball is sitting quite nice in the fairway. No real excuse to be honest, he's just straight at it. Carrying the bunker. <laughs> oh. Laid up. Oh, I've done that. I've done that so much in the last few days. It's like a bit of a toey fat. It's, it's a layup. I, I want to work on my pitching. So, downwind. How far you got to the pin? Uh, 120 meters, so 132 yards. Yep. 100 meters to clear the uh, bunker through. Right? Wind's got it. Sit down. You're living dangerously on this one. Good to go. We're good to go there. <laughs> oh, that was I think that's in the hole. Oh, that I hate that shot. Just when I can't get into my right hip, I kind of start coming over the top and steep and slappy. So just a chip and run here, 50 degree. Break a little bit right to left as it gets over the hump. Almost. Yeah, it wasn't a massively clean strike. I think the heat's getting to me. It's all the heat and the excitement. Hit it, hit it. Get a skin laser, gentlemen. 400 yards this hole. 400. So I think it's just about gettable. Downwind off the right. I don't think there's actually much up there. You guys have played here before, haven't you? Yeah, there's a bit of yeah. sand on the right. Uh, water in front of the green. Oh, is there? And money mercy, no. Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Get left. Left. That's pumped again. Finding some form now. Oh, I can taste that ham and cheese toasty. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Mr. Lawler wants his steak baguette. Oh, that was ripped. <laughs> that sounded amazing, that. <laughs> yeah, that, was that, was, that was a nice strike. That was Sometimes a nice strike. Sometimes they try it harder, but straighter. Kids, if you're watching, that's the rule. Yeah. Hardy witted, the straighter it goes. It doesn't work. Oh boys! Good strike. Hit some drives on this hole. Yep. Nice kick too. Perfect. That's the one. That's the one. We got 132 meters, so probably around 145 yards. We got an eight downwind. That's about it.
seat's found itself in the wasteland. Probably about 75 yards in. I mean, it, it's impossible to get to get a truck. Sorry everybody, three boring parts. <laughs> but I really want you to get to know the guys a little bit better. So we're gonna cut away from the action for only a short while and have a little bit of a chat. So I just wanted to take a little bit of time to introduce these fine gentlemen a little bit more, but also just talk a bit about what you do within golf, because this is a whole new area for me that I'm really not too familiar with, to be honest. So do you wanna talk me through about the tour that you're playing on and exactly your guys approach to golf at the moment? Yeah, so the tour we pl play on is called the EDGA, European Disabled Golf Association. So it fluctuates between cerebral palsy, shoulder and stature, one-legged golfers, doing amazing things. Like the first event I went to on the EGGA tour was in November 2018. And I play an amateur golf in Ireland at, pretty, at a pretty high level. I thought mm. it was going to be a breeze. Hmm. And it was just the wrong attitude going really? into an event. And it's probably the best learning curve I ever learned at an event before. Wow. So I knew what the standard was after it. Guys on one leg hitting at 300 yards, people at Sarah Palsy shooting level power one under, and it's pretty inspiring stuff if, if people see it, and it was just such an eye-opener for me. It's amazing, because, I mean, until, until I've actually spoken to you guys, I really had no idea that this tour even even kind of existed, to yeah. be honest. I just wasn't even aware of it. Mm. So when did you start playing on Yoki? I mean, uh, I played with... Uh, Started play when I was twelve, right, okay. uh, and then I came into the disability golf world in when I was like fourteen. Okay, so uh, so I've been in, in this game for like sixteen years now. Oh wow! So, uh, but what I see now, it's growing like never before. Okay. So uh, I think we have a great future mm. uh, ahead of us. So uh, I think we have, have some big plans. Every event we go to, like the European tours involved now, you have ISPS Hand and Modest Golf. You have so many big organizations mm. getting behind it that weren't behind it before. And I think that's very important to push the message on and get the recognition it really deserves, to be honest. Because when did you, it was the, was it, what was it, the Belfry, the English Championship? I can't, I can't, it was the UK Championship. The UK Championship. Yeah. There was a, a swing of events which happened in um, during lockdown here in the UK and went through quite a few amazing courses to actually play. And then you qualified for that, or was that an invite? It was an invite. It was uh, sponsored by ISPS Handa. Okay. And I'm an ambassador for them, so luckily I got an extended invite to that one. Amazing. But then it was like a roll-on effect because the following week, um, a disability golfer played in the Italian Open. Mm -hmm. So I was the first and then he was the second. So that was the sort of mes message we wanted to get out, that people sort of, whether they have a disability or not, they can compete on the same level as these guys, which is really cool. Oh, hello. Oh, this could be saucy. Oh, oh just the wrong side of the bank. It's quite a straight, a little bit right to left maybe as it comes over the brow, but all about the distance control. All straighten up. How about that? Yeah. It's all about the par, you know. That's what we're here for. <laughs> nice move, no? Yeah, nice, nice light yeah. pull down, nice and safe. I didn't move. I <laughs> think this is second round of a stroke play event. <laughs> Take it away. Man. Right, skins roll over. Oh, this has got all the makings of a a whopping skin in a yeah. few holes, like four of them. 
we're all vying there with birdies and bogeys. Oh, it's going to be dramatic. Ah. Man doesn't miss. Steady golf. This, yeah. <laughs> Very steady golf. Guys, thanks for joining us on the uh, Steady Golf channel. Please subscribe, but only if you're sure and you have a safe insurance policy driving a Skoda Fabia. Are they safe cars? Scores are four, two, <laughs> zero. Oh, shut it. Hang it in there. Shut Oh, you boys. Oh, holy moly. Going in with me. And nine. Nine. Yep. Time to catch up. Tell you played on European tour. That was such a European tour walk after a missed putt. That. God. <laughs> I knew, I knew the oh, that's a pressure putt. Well that's a pressure putt. Thank you, man. Two carrying over. And what a hole this is next, by the way. All over water. Closing hole strong as well. It promises to be an exciting finish. Just gonna have a little, a little chat to the guys, and we'll join you for the climax. I don't know what it must have been like for you guys to begin with. Like, yeah. Was it pretty tough or? I, I'm only playing golf seven years. I played pitch and putt for years. Ten years and then I started golf at 16. So it was quite late. Mm. But to get into golf in Ireland was pretty tough because I started around the boom. It was dear. Right, okay. Golf clubs were dear to get into. It was more like who you, knew, who you know to get in. So I was quite lucky to get in at 16. True summer I knew. And then just took it from there. Oh, okay. Cool. What are the opportunities like up in Sweden? They're okay. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the game of golf in Sweden is uh, yeah, it's in front of, uh, of many things. So, uh, but uh, when I started, it was it was like uh, I I remember Tiger Woods won the the Open two thousand. Mm. It's just yeah. kind of what what to do in the future now, really. So yeah. again, the awareness out there. Big time. Like that's what we're trying to focus on at the minute is getting more people into the game, which is important for us. Getting us to the Paralympics and. Mm. Keep Pelly has great ambitions for a world world tour. It was meant to be with twenty twenty one, but with all the COVID stuff, it's sort of through a spanner in the works. Yeah. But definitely, if I tell the guys all the time, keep posting on your social medias. Keep disability golf can be forgotten about very easily if yeah, it's yeah. not in the forefront. 
So uh, I keep telling the guys, keep hosting. Let people know you're there to mm. compete, yeah. there to play. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's very important too. It's like I was saying to you guys before, yeah, this is uh, this is something new to me. Yeah. I, I, this is something I didn't really know too much about. Yeah. Um, obviously, I've seen you know guys with disabilities playing before, girls with disabilities playing before. Yeah. But actually, some kind of organised competition yeah. and organised league for you guys, and yeah. you know an actual tour where you can get out and compete. Yeah. With a pathway to you European know tour playing in the European Tour and Challenge Tour events yeah. as well. I mean that's that's crazy. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean the last few years now, uh, we got the official world ranking for like three years ago maybe. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then uh, the last year we got two events together with the European Tour. Yeah. In, in Scotland and Dubai, so everything comes together now. It's constant momentum. Yeah, for the night, for the last two years, and I think it's it's going to keep going the right way. And yeah, yeah. People don't realize that disability golfers they're they're athletes. They can play the game at a quite a high level. And disability athletes are in the Paralympics, whether it's tennis, wheelchair, basketball. And I think that's the next step for us is being in the Paralympics too. Golf's yeah. an important game. Like, I mean, I mean the I mean, it's in the Olympics now, yeah. so there's no reason why it, it should be. can't transfer over. Yeah, Absolutely so. not. So guys, just make sure that you go to their socials. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you also check out the EDGA website, which I'm going to link down in the description below. Try and just find out a little bit more about it, and just try and educate yourself a bit more. That's certainly what I'm going to be doing moving forward. 190, five iron, drifted into a horrific pin. <laughs> Got nudge by the wind that one. Holiday. It's serious stuff. This is serious stuff. I'm just building my uh, my holiday home there. It's quite pleasant. I think we'll all agree. Last hole, 400 and something yards. It's about 400 yards. Into the wind, water all the way up the right, and there are three skins remaining. But you have to remember that this is YouTube, and I make up the rules. Therefore, I am adding a bonus skin to the last hole, an extra, a spare, one that I have in my back pocket is going on this hole. The drama intensifies. Tension in the air grows thick. And these three golfers head out onto this last hole. Everything to play for. Jeez, what was... don't know where this is coming from. Get me a pen and paper, quick. Let me... <laughs> slope wedge, I'm going to feed it in from the left hand side, it's going to pitch one to grab, spin to the right, arms are going to go up in mad celebration. <laughs> degree nip nicely checky stopper oh that lie as well is 
use the bounce on this bad boy. Not when you strike it like that. <laughs> that wasn't my best. That wasn't my best, but it's these boys really battling it now. So once more, <laughs> we rely on your putting, mate. He doesn't miss. 